Hi everybody, it's Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of one of my favorite Universal Orlando on-site hotels, Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. So come with me as we check it out. We'll begin our tour at the main entrance, and then we'll walk into the lobby to see the check-in area, and then turn to the left off the lobby to go through the gift shop on our way to the Starbucks. After looking at the Starbucks location, we'll head upstairs to check out the Galaxy Bowl bowling alley, as well as the fitness center. After taking a quick peek out at the cabana courtyard and pool, we'll make our way back downstairs and continue around to the left to check out the Bayliner Diner. We'll then make our way back over to the lobby to head out the back doors and take a closer look at the cabana courtyard and pool. After that, we'll make our way through the Lazy River Courtyard, past the pool, on our way to check out the inside of one of the Volcano View rooms in the Bayside Tower. Cabana Bay is one of the prime value hotels on site at Universal Orlando, giving it one of the most attractive price points on property. It's themed after the classic beach resorts of the 1950s and 60s, and I personally love the retro theming here. I also love that Cabana Bay offers a variety of different accommodations for guests to choose from. Everything from standard rooms to family suites for six guests to two bedroom suites for eight guests. The resort also offers complimentary bus transportation to Universal City Walk, Universal's Islands of Adventure, and Universal Studios Florida. There's even a private walkway from Cabana Bay directly to Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park. Just to the left of the lobby bar, you'll see the entrance to the gift shop. And just to the left of that, you'll see the Vacation Planning Center. This is where guests who have pre-purchased tickets through vacation packages can have those tickets printed. The gift shop had a really impressive selection of resort branded merchandise to choose from. As you exit the gift shop and continue down the hallway, you'll see the Starbucks location as well as a staircase leading to the second floor. The second floor is the home of the Galaxy Bowl bowling alley as well as the fitness center. If you continue down the hallway past the staircase, you'll eventually end up at the Bayliner Diner, which is the quick service location on site. We'll come back and take a closer look at Bayliner Diner later in the video, but for now, let's head upstairs. I 
I love the fact that Cabana Bay has its very own bowling alley on site. And I also love the retro look of these chandeliers. You'll find the fitness center located just to the right of the entrance to Galaxy Bowl. Just outside the fitness center, you've got a really great view down into the first floor of the lobby. And on the other side of the hallway, you've got a great view out over the Cabana Courtyard pool. We'll go back down and take a closer look at that later on. At the end of the second floor hallway, just past Galaxy Bowl, we'll have a great view down into the Bayliner Diner quick service location. I absolutely love the decor in here. It's so bright, cheerful, and fun. We're back down on the first floor now to give you an even closer look at Bayliner Diner. To add to the theming here, they even show retro television shows and advertisements on the TV screens. The food options here were a good mixture of hot items like pizza, as well as prepackaged grab and go items. We're now going to walk back outside the main lobby to check out some awesome cars. How gorgeous are these cars? They make for such an amazing photo opportunity. These are the doors from Bayliner Diner that we just walked out of, and just past them you'll find the bus stop. We're now going to make our way over to the Cabana Courtyard to check out the Cabana Courtyard Pool. Cabana Bay has two pools, but the Cabana Courtyard Pool offers private cabanas for rent and is also home of the Atomic Tonic Pool Bar. The Cabana Courtyard Pool also has a really awesome water slide. It wouldn't be Cabana Beach Resort without a little beach area too, including a ping pong table. Just outside this back entrance to the Cabana Courtyard Pool is a walkway leading to some of the other on-site hotels, including the Aventura Hotel. If you'd like to see our full video tour of the Aventura, we'll link that in the description below as well as in the upper right hand corner. We're now going to make our way back across to the other end of the resort to tour the Lazy River Courtyard Pool. The Lazy River Courtyard of course features a lazy river, but it also features a great pool as well as the largest beach area at Cabana Bay. Inner tubes for the Lazy River are not provided free of charge, but you're welcome to bring your own and you can also purchase some on site. From the Lazy River Courtyard Pool, you can see the volcano from Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park. The Lazy River is just on the other side of these trees. Past the 
Lazy River Courtyard, you'll find the Bayside and Beachside Towers, which house the Volcano View Rooms, as well as the private walkway between Cabana Bay Beach Resort and Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park, which you see here. For this stay, we booked a Volcano View Room in the Bayside Tower, which was filled with the same fun theming that you find in the main building. When I booked the room, I requested that we be on a high floor if possible, and Universal was able to grant that request. For reference, if you happen to like the view that we had from our hotel room, we were room number 71111. This room featured two queen beds, as well as a bathroom with one sink and a walk-in shower. I like the fact that even the shampoo, conditioner, and bar soap were retro themed. There was also a closet in this room which featured an iron and a full-size ironing board, as well as a luggage rack. Standard rooms, pool view rooms, and volcano view rooms like this come equipped with a coffee maker as well as a mini refrigerator. However, they don't include a microwave. The family suites and the two bedroom suites come equipped with a kitchenette, which includes a microwave, a coffee maker, a small sink, as well as a mini refrigerator. This room had a beautiful view of Universal's Volcano Bay Water Theme Park. Here we can see Cabana Bay Resort guests entering through the private entrance to Volcano Bay. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. There are so many things to love about this property, from its attractive price point, to its two great pools, to its on-site bowling alley, as well as its private entrance to Universal's Volcano Bay. Plus, you get to take advantage of early entry to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, as well as Volcano Bay. And when you book your stay with me, you also get the added advantage of my personalized customer service, as well as my planning expertise, completely free of charge. Again, I'm Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels. Thank you for watching.